Okay, so first thing to do is to redraw these vectors head to tail, and we always start with the x. So because it's going left, we'll go left. And then because the y is going down, we'll go down. And the head of one arrow touches the tail of another. And that puts our resultant vector right here. And our theta at the angle between the x and the resultant vector. So in order to find the size of this vector, we use the Pythagorean theorem. 2 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. So we get 20 equals c squared. And we get that c equals 4.47. makes sense it's the longest side and it's that not that much longer than the y because the x is very small in order to find theta if we look at our trig ratios so ka toa we can actually use any of them because we have all three sides but I recommend that you use the opposite and adjacent since those are the sides I gave you and those are the sides you know are correct so our 4 is opposite and our 2 is adjacent. We say tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent. And so tangent of theta equals 2. Then we'll take the inverse. And we'll get that theta is 63 degrees. Now we have to talk about unit circle. So let's sketch a unit circle on our triangle over here. We have 0, 90, 180, and 270. And we want the angle between 0 and this line. And if we look at it, we can see that it is theta beyond 180. So 180 plus 63 equals 143 degrees or 243 degrees, sorry. So our answer is 4.47 at 243 degrees.